Okay, okay, this is really funny. So not only, I didn't know this until this moment, chat. Apparently, Sasha not only requested a restraining order for her, she requested that the court order that Xander Hall stay at least 300 yards away from her cat, Mr. Biscuits. She actually tried to put forward a protection order on her cat. I was going to start with the Yankee Tanky stuff, but it seems that there's a lot of interest in the stuff that happened with Sasha. So I think I'm just going to start with that. So getting into it, to remind everyone what happened. Sasha sent this DM to Xander Hall. Hey, quick question. What's it like living in Palm Springs? Is Redacted your mom? Because I know Alana is your ex. Anyways, you'd be saving me time by telling me which of these is your address, just so the process server knows where to go. Personally, I think it's the 2500 address because it says that your ex lives here. Or at least she's receiving mail there. Like, deranged, I know, right? So Sasha continues on. How do I know it's your ex? Well, silly. You posted her criminal record a year ago. It's cool if you don't tell me, though. I can just have them go to both addresses. So yeah, expect papers to be served to you. And then she puts a little cat face, which is the most insane thing I think I've seen her ever do. So Xander Hall responds, Neither of those are my address, and if you're serving me, they'll be able to find it. Gonna post you trying to dox my family and shit though, looking real innocent. I will obviously not be providing a stranger who has a history of stalking and sending death threats my address. How am I doxing you? I'm not publishing your private info on social media. Post whatever you want, bro. Gonna have to answer to the judge. It's really creepy that she's doing this, especially given her history, right? We've already confirmed in the past that she has shown up at people's houses before and made people have to call the police because she threatened to beat the shit out of them. So Sasha has sent me countless DMs, dozens of DMs. I have not responded to a single one of them. So I just wanna show you a little taste of some of those DMs. This was after I put out my first expose video on Sasha. Feel better now? Had your big moment? You can't hurt me in a way that matters. Make as many videos about me as you want. Shit, you can turn your whole channel into the Sasha Hour. Not gonna change anything that's happened. You rely on this website, not just for money, but your ego. Because outside of here, what are you? Nothing. You're just another transgender like me. Aside from how weird it is that she has sent me, I think I counted like, 70 different individual DMs over the course of two months. I think it's very telling that she really hates herself and she hates trans people. Ending it by saying, what are you outside of Twitter? You're just another trans person like me. As if that somehow lowers my status and my standing in the world. It's such a weird thing to say. Here's another portion of the DMs from her. Look, I'll even give you something you can add to your video. All of Keffel's stands smell like soup mix. Show them I said that. It'll be really funny. Show them I said that. Everyone who watches Keffel's smells like Lipton soup mix. I'm sorry to break this to you, chat. So going back to the DMs with Zan, this was on August 3rd. Hey, Alex, my restraining order against you was approved. This obviously doesn't count as a formal service, and it doesn't go into effect until you've been served. So, in the meantime, while you can still legally talk to me, I have one question. According to your stream, you said that the allegations against me were privileged information. So my question is this, who gave you that information? She then sent a copy of it and said, just in case you don't believe me, and then continued on to say, do not contact me unless you are answering my question. You and Keffels have published my private information on the internet, lied about me, defamed me, and demonized me. You are actively participating in stochastic terrorism. Do not speak about me on your streams, Discord, or any other social media platform. <sighs> the claim that discussing internet drama counts as stochastic terrorism is quite wild. No one was advocating that 
Sasha be hurt in any way. In fact, she's the only person in that entire debacle who actually threatened to hurt other people. Here's an actual copy that was obtained from the California government. We did a request for information for this. So it's a CH-100 Request for Civil Harassment Restraining Orders form. So I'm just showing you this all to show you what Sasha put down in the form. So on number four, relationship of parties, the question was, how do you know the person in number two, which was Xander Hall? And she wrote, I don't know him, but he is calling me a rapist on his YouTube and Twitch channels. And then for number seven, description of harassment, which is defined under the state of California's laws. Harassment means violence or threats of violence against you or a course of conduct that seriously alarmed, annoyed, or harassed you and caused you substantial emotional distress. A course of conduct is more than one act. Tell the court about the last time this person in number two harassed you. One, when did it happen? Provide date or estimated date. And two, who else was there? So here's what Sasha wrote. When did it happen? It happened on the 7th of the 25th, 2023 to the present. And who else was there? Xander Hall's YouTube followers. He has 80,000 subscribers. <laughs> the so apparently like every single one of Xander Hall's subscribers engaged in harassment simply by witnessing Xander Hall on stream once say that Sasha is a rapist. So for the next portion, how did the person in number two harass you? Explain below. And Sasha wrote, he called me a rapist on his stream and YouTube channels. Now I have thousands of people online calling me a rapist because of him. I've never met him. Yet now I am losing friends, income, and my online reputation. I don't want this to affect my ability to get a job. Pretty obvious, just don't fucking rape people. Didn't think I had to write that one down for you. So for number five, Sasha was asked the question, were you harmed or injured because of the harassment? And Sasha wrote, I've been stressed and having heart palpitations. The online harassment and lies makes me have suicidal ideation, which I don't normally feel on a day-to-day -day basis. I, I don't know. I, I think I, I wouldn't rape someone if I didn't want to be called a rapist. I mean, that's, that's me, personally. I, I think that that's like a pretty simple thing that you can do. But also, she made it way worse for herself by posting through it and threatening every single person involved, including her victims. I also find it interesting that she checked no for, has the person harassed you at other times? No prior incidences. So these were the orders that Sasha requested for the personal conduct orders. I asked the court, to order the person in number two, Xander Hall, not to do any of the following things to me or to any person to be protected, listed in number three. So harass, intimidate, molest, attack, strike, stalk, threaten, assault, sexually or otherwise, hit, abuse, destroy personal property of, or disturb the peace of a person. B, contact the person either directly or indirectly in any way, including, but not limited to, in person, by telephone, in writing, by public or private, mail, by inter-office mail, by email, by text message, by fax, or by other electronic means, and C, other specify. And this is where she wrote specifically what she wanted. That she wanted Xander Hall to not talk about her online in a derogatory way or cause others to make derogatory statements about her. And it's crazy because Zan had never at any point been in contact with her. She was the only person to engage in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. She really said, make him keep my name out of his mouth and filed a restraining order against someone she's never met, she's never talked to. So this is, this is interesting too. So in number nine, the stay away order that Sasha requested, I asked the court to order the person number two, again, Xander Hall, to stay at least 300 yards away from me, as well as my vehicle, my home, my, and my job or workplace. I, I don't even think they've ever been in the same city at the same time before. And he lives like a thousand miles away. 
Okay, okay, this is really funny. So not only, I didn't know this until this moment, chat. Apparently, Sasha not only requested a restraining order for her, she requested that the court order that Xander Hall stay at least 300 yards away from her cat, Mr. Biscuits. She actually tried to put forward a protection order on her cat. I don't even know what to say about that. I don't understand. Hey you, person watching the stream, do you like the content you're watching? Do you, do you like uh, the, the stupid community full of gay retards? Well, you should consider subscribing to support the work that I and many others do to keep this going. Thank you, and none of this would be possible if it wasn't for viewers like you. Okay, so that's that was the form. So I want to show you, these are some more recent DMs. This was August 14th. To me, Sasha said, Hey, just curious, is there a reason why you look so tired all the time? Usually estrogen makes someone look younger, yet it seems like the elasticity in your face's skin is deteriorating. Is there a reason why you look like the droopy dog from the Looney Tunes? Or do you just naturally look like the personification of a burlap sack? It's funny how you can post about me all you want, but at the end of the day, I'm not the one hiding in Ireland. I'm not the one that can't return to my country of origin. I'm not the one who's probably never going to see my childhood home again. I'm not the one that will most likely never see my friends or family again. Personally, I would hate to have to experience that. It must be really difficult for you. I don't know where she got any of this information. I'm, um, I'm not hiding in Ireland. I, I just live here. I, I'm planning to go back to Canada to see my family in December. I'm actually going to be seeing them in Las Vegas next month. She just kind of made all this shit up. It's also, yeah, I mean, it's very cruel. She's intentionally trying to hurt my feelings. However, she's a rapist. So why would I take anything that she has to say? Seriously. She thinks Kevl's a Jesse Pinkman at the end of El Camino. <laughs> okay, so here's a deleted post. This was posted last month. Okay, I'm done now deleting the app. I just wanted to reactivate so I can get that OnlyFans money. So August 17th, Xander Hall gets another DM. It's been two weeks. Seems you learned your lesson. Here's a list of the things that constitute as harassment. Avoid doing it in the future for your own sake. So I actually do want to read this out because it's really funny. What is abuse? The family court will only grant a DVRO where abuse is present, including acts that cause physical injury. Threats, verbal, I will kill you, I will beat you up. Physical, raising a fist, pretending to strike, getting close in the face. Property violence, punching a hole in the wall or door, throwing a heavy object at you, brandishing a gun or other weapon to intimidate. Under the harassment and stalking section, harassing phone calls and messages, giving false slash sensitive personal information about you to employers, friends, relatives, etc. Isolating you from friends, family, and support, depriving you of basic necessities, control, monitoring your movements, communications, daily behavior, finances and access to services, compulsion, using force, threat of force, intimidation, threats based on immigration status, etc., to force you to do something. So it's like, not only is this insane on all levels, how did Xander Hall do a single thing listed in here? None of this makes any sense. I'm trying to get into Sasha's head and understand why she specifically sent this. And I think she read giving false such sensitive personal information about you to employers friends and relatives as somehow her like that is harassment yes but xander hall didn't do that like xander hall mentioned it off the cuff in a stream that's what kicked all this off it wasn't anything planned it was a chatter asking xander hall about the sasha situation so all of this culminated on August 24th, Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles Family Division, the Honorable Janet Perez Santizo, the judge, ruled that the case was dismissed. Nature of Proceedings, Petition, Civil Harassment, 
violence filed on July 31st, 2023. The following parties are present for the aforementioned proceeding. No one, no appearances. The matter is called for hearing. There being no appearances, the petitioner's request for restraining order is discharged. All temporary restraining orders, if any, are dissolved. Case is dismissed. And this is a long-standing pattern of behavior with her where she threatens people by abusing the legal system. And Xander Hall wasn't able to actually speak about this until it got dismissed because speaking about it while it was still ongoing actually risked meaning that Xander Hall would have to pay fines of up to $1,000. I'm glad that this has come to an end. She ended up having quite a meltdown on Twitter. Sasha responded on the same day to it being dismissed by changing her at on Twitter from goaded tranny to twink milf. And then last week, she sent me an entire barrage of DMs, like every single day. So starting on September 1st, hmm, I wonder why your judgment is clouded. I don't even know what this initial thing was. It's only a matter of time until someone blows the whistle on her and everyone's gonna be like, hey, isn't that the chick Keffels went to bat for? And when this happens, the whole tucking website is going to eat crow. I'm pretty sure this is a response to, um, she is trying to spin the narrative that one of the people she sexually assaulted is also an abuser, which I haven't seen any evidence or claims of this from anyone except for her, so it's obviously just a Darvo tactic. So let's keep going. This was on Wednesday. Thanks for taking care of Stacy. She's the second worst tranny on this website. She'll be number one once you, well, you know what's going to happen, lol. It's an inevitability. That's wild. Sasha is such a transphobic person, and it goes further. It's just funny watching you attack random people on the internet. Male rage is a bitch, ain't it? I just don't understand what possesses her to be this transphobic when she herself is trans. So she keeps going. I love the situation you and I are in. I get to be mean as I want to you. I mean, what are you gonna do? You can't post about me because that'd just be free interaction. Yet I'm sure you can't take much more of me reminding you that you have no life outside of this website. And everyone knows you use this platform to fund your bullshit. You're stuck here. You've hit the ceiling of growth and you'll never get back the amount of admiration and clout you once had. I'm the reason for that. And I'm glad it happened. You've got nowhere to go but down. And it's going to be amazing to watch you crash and burn out before disappearing into obscurity. In a couple years, no one will remember you. It'll almost be as if you didn't exist at all. And all everything terrible that's happened to you will be for nothing. She posts a tweet where I'm talking about Elon Musk, where I said men will literally light $20 billion on fire rather than going to therapy and says, oh, is that how much it costs for you? No wonder you're so stressed for cash, lol. And then, she deleted. She deleted her account, that's it. The restraining order fell through. Her reputation is in tatters. I'm kind of sad she deleted her Twitter though, because there were some really funny things that she was tweeting about before she had to fuck off to god knows where she made these tweets where she was like i love my girlfriend my girlfriend's so awesome keffels doesn't know what it's like to love people she's there for me through thick and thin and then four days later she tweets about how she got dumped like she was trying to flex at people like yeah i'm a rapist but i got a girlfriend Meltdown is one of the most pathetic things I've seen in my entire time in this space, and I've seen some pretty bad ones in the last few years. It was pretty bad. It was really weird that all of this happened in the first place, that she decided to come after Xander Hall. She, by the way, she didn't ruin my career, as she claimed. I'm doing just fine. 
but she's an incredibly narcissistic person and it's very obvious with how she conducts herself and the kinds of insults that she uses towards me the fact that she's so obsessed with clout and specifically twitter clout there are definitely people who should not be on there and i think sasha is one of those people but anyway this is a monumental w for xander hall i do think it is very funny still that she makes these claims that she destroyed my career and th the claim is basically because she decided to take part in outing the fact that i was struggling with addiction i made a stupid post on my subreddit where i wanted people to help me find more info about her because i i heard some really weird things about her and i was correct in the fact that she's a very fucking weird person so the reason that she was baiting me so much into responding is because she thought that if she could get me into a Twitter fight, she would be able to get a whole bunch of clicks off of fighting me on Twitter. But I'm not stupid. 